guys, welcome back to Stacey Goes Outside. Today I am on Lake Comanche with Justin Gaunt from the Folsom Bass Team. And if you watched my previous video of our tournament on the Delta, Justin and I placed third. So I'm hoping that we can repeat that or do a little better on our upcoming tournament for next week. We're out here pre-fishing, we're trying a bunch of new stuff, and we're just trying to kind of scope out spots. It was really foggy this morning, which is why I waited a while to do this intro. And to be honest, this day, it's been super silly. You'll see all the weird stuff that's been happening. So uh, follow along. First cast. And I'm getting caps. Oh, no. <laughs> yep, I caught that grass good. And that grass is, there's trees right here. All right. Okay. Bumped it and then it came back. A little one. <laughs> and Stacy gets the first one in the boat. <laughs> Ned rig, of course. Good lord. Hey, it's bigger than the one I got. <sighs> Finally, huh? Right through the roof of the mouth. Go there and visit him. All right. No skunk for you. Good job, Justin. Right. Oh, shit. There is. <laughs> I'm like, you gotta. So here I am. Changing my GoPro battery. Set my rod on the deck and it's moving. So, oh, that's a decent fish. Yeah. Notice I tighten my drag this time. You proud of me? Yes. Oh. What the heck? Wait, stop for a second. What the heck? That's a good one. Oh. <laughs> I feel Lucky. like I've had such good luck when I fish with you. Oh, smokes. A couple and, pounds? And we'll have to get this part for Josh. Why Does that, that look familiar? Big one that I got. Really? Same way down at Maloney's. <laughs> I think it was Maloney's. Nice. All right, I'll awesome. out and... That's not bad. Well, that's a really nice fish. Well, thanks for keeping an eye out. Crying out loud, <laughs> I didn't do a damn thing on that one. Yeah. Stuck, snap? I don't know what I caught. <laughs> Maybe you got not something. Fighting. I must just hit some of that grass or something. Yeah, up, oh, yeah. Oh! <gasps> that was a four pounder. Are you kidding? No, it was right there. That was a four pounder. <sighs> <laughs> he turned and ran right at the boat, and I just started ripping it, and it was just. Oh. Uh. Right <sighs> Dude. Fishing, guys. <laughs> Save you for later. Uh. As soon as he realized that he couldn't go anywhere, he started running up at me, and I just started burning line. Maybe there's more of them. It's not the first time I've done that. Show us your tree pounder. That's more of a tree pounder. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> That's a stump pounder. It's crazy. Yeah. Is your hook still good? Oh yeah. Oh good. That one I got out of the ground. Yep. What the heck? <laughs> what happened? So, guys, oh, I just lost him. Oh. I just lost him, guys. So, I kind of 
snagged into somebody's line here so i started retrieving the line and lo and behold what was that about an 18 inch trout Stacey? yep oh my god <laughs> <laughs> I start hand reeling in an 18 inch trout. That's crazy. Yeah, we saved his life. Yep. Well, Justin, it's always fun fishing with you. Oh man, look at this mess I've got going on. What the heck? Oh God. Hey, watch oh. out for that wake. <laughs> I thought it was lean and dry. Oh, oh, that's a good fish. Turn on the GoPro. I, I got it on. Uh, maybe it's not that great. Ah, oh, <laughs> that's a good one. Oh, shoot. Ah, little. Uh, oh. <laughs> hey. That's a keeper. Yeah. Huh. All the way down at the bottom. Yep. I yeah. told you they were down there. Yep. Nice. There you go. Yep. The old Ned with a little spinner underneath. This is double tag number three. You grab number seven. So three, four. Four in the box. Yep. Measuring. Okay. Now, when that drops down in there, okay. What it does, see that bead go down? Yep. Okay. okay. And then as soon as you lift, this is more 49, 49 ish weather. Okay. Right now it's a little warm for this floating fly. I haven't caught them in the summertime. But this is kind of the, the better, more kind of structure that you want to float, uh, floating fly. Okay. Now, my drag, I've got it just tight enough. Then when I set the hook, I don't break my line, and I just get that hook through. Yeah, not really as no. loose as possible, but just loose. So for the most part, you're looking for it to be sideways, but sometimes yeah. they don't. Sometimes they're just on there, and they're just. If that boot, if that bobber's laying sideways, there's mm -hmm. two things: either you're sitting on something, a rock, a stick, or something like that, or there's a fish down there just holding on to it. Okay. Oops. Didn't mean to get that close to you. You're fine. You know, this exact thing right here, the exact same fly that you're throwing, four pounder at Oroville <laughs> last week. And you're not like hopping it or doing anything? Nope. You're just letting it sit there? Let it sit. Most of the time the current will do it. And then when it's completely horizontal, do you want to like like do normal and like reel down and then set the hook, or is it just barely a? Just reel into it. Just start reeling. Oh, okay. You don't really have to like set the. No, you just reel. Okay. What happened? Uh, he just he picked it up and was just sitting there swimming with it, and you didn't see me sitting there playing you? No. Oh, I thought you were sitting there watching me playing. No. No, oh, he did. I was sitting there dragging it, and then all of a sudden he picked it up. Uh, I was pulling it, and I was pulling it, and I could feel the weight of him, but he wasn't giving me any head shakes, so I gave it a couple bumps. <laughs> I gave it a couple bumps, and as soon as I got a head shake is when I set, and as soon as I set, he was dropping. Mm. I just don't know what I want to try next. I like that. What? Something a little different. Well, we're gonna wrap up. There were a couple tournaments out here today, so we're gonna try to beat them to the dock and get the heck out of here so we're not stuck here for the next few hours. But first, we're gonna weigh that one big fish that I caught. Gales on. I guess first, I will guess two pounds, five ounces. Two 
284. Oh, that's way better. So what do you think happened to this poor guy's fin? That red spot, what is that from? Getting chomped on? No, probably, probably a boat or something like that. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoy that sneak peek at our pre-fishing session. I wasn't sure if I was going to record that because I don't ever want to give away spots, but Justin said that was fine. He really didn't have any secret spots on the lake. But I do have to add, if you are a co-angler, make sure that you do ask your boater if it's okay to record or to take photos of where you are. I've actually had people ask me not to do that because they do have secret spots. Just be curious and make sure that you check with them ahead of time. If you're interested in learning more about the Folsom Bass team, I will link my video here somewhere. And you can also DM me, comment below, ask any questions that you might have. We have monthly tournaments. It's a random draw, so you get to know a lot of the different club members, fish a lot of different styles, and you'll be able to learn from beginner anglers as well as veteran anglers. So in my case, it's been invaluable. I've learned so many new techniques. I've gotten great tips and advice, and it's just been a lot of fun for the last couple of years. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. And comment below, let me know where you'd like to see me fish. If you want to invite me out fishing for a day, I'm totally open to that as well. Make sure that you check back for part two because our tournament is on Saturday, January 23rd, and you'll be able to see how we finish. And who knows, if you happen to be at the Comanche North Shore boat ramp next Saturday afternoon, maybe I'll see you outside.